Hey there, Internet. So, uh, it's been a time, and I haven't seen any of you in a bit. So we're gonna do a houseplant review. So here's Tony the coffee plant. Wow. Doing really well now that she's back by the window. I'm excited. Here is... You might think it's a Christmas cactus. This is actually an Easter cactus, and you can tell because the leaves are more rounded instead of pointy. Though I do have a Christmas cactus start in there. It hasn't grown visibly any since I brought it home in like August, but it is firmly implanted, so it's just taking its time. I'm excited. I have a lot of plants that are inside of other plants right now. That's not for any sort of artistic purpose. I'm just too cheap to buy a bag of dirt. Donate to my PayPal link so I can buy a bag of dirt. This is a panda plant that I got. This is one of the only ones I have that was a purchase. It was a gift and I'm not sure what I did wrong, but the original tree uh, did not make it. But if you'll notice, I have amazing luck with starts. So I'd actually like to pack these up individually, but staying alive right now. Here's a plant. It's legal in Oregon, but I'm not going to talk about it. But I definitely grew that from seed. And then this here is, I'm amazed. So this was growing on my front lawn and it was normally just like a couple of these, but they were like shorter. Like it almost had circle vines and it was growing on my front lawn of my old place back when I had a lawn. And so I brought a, I stopped by to look there and brought it home and stuck it in the dirt and I'm just really impressed. Here's the jade plant. Doing really well. I, uh, I finally bit the bullet and did some aggressive pruning of some leaves and it's totally right see where this is so um if i manage to keep this alive for a long time uh it will be uh, it will be much stronger and more of a bush instead of turning very spindly um and that's good uh, and when i was doing my aggressive pruning i got Oh, look at it. So that one started, like, right away. Um, this one's growing a little baby. Um, this here, there's gonna be more of this. Let's see. Yeah, it's still just loose. This is a leaf off of this weird spoon-shaped thing that was growing at a business. And I was like, hey, I like your succulents. I'm good with starts. Can I can I take a chunk home? And it was huge. And they were like, sure. So I'm gonna start doing that like everywhere I see a cool plant. Um aloe thing. I was uh, tentacle hand. Mostly just looking to see how easily it would pop out of the ground. Uh, very easily. What? What is this? This is, um, only the beginning of the spider plant. So, this has got a lot of the vines that make it a spider plant that are doing really well. This one's... I think this one's the oldest one. And the other one's just doing really well. Um, 
and then it has this other vine. That's. And so this actually had flowers um, earlier this year. I can't remember when, but like after I moved here, it made flowers. And it looks like it's setting up to do that again. Uh, so it's doing really well. Um, despite the fact that like it's already over, gonna overgrow this. Um, and I, I think this might be just in dirt from outside. Like stolen from a potted plant at my old apartment. So. The spider plant deserves better. I fell out of the habit of naming them because I had a bunch of things die in a row. Um, so leave comments if you th can think of good names for the ones that I haven't said names for. Okay. So here we have... The Orchid Cactus. It, which is doing surprisingly well. Um, I need to bite the bullet and trim it in a couple of places, but I don't feel like I know enough about that. It also... I've been having a tough time finding a space that I really like for it, where it gets enough light. Um, I'm gonna want to hang it outside when the summertime comes around, because it's too cold for that right now. Because it's just... look at that. It likes to be a hanging plant, and like... We use our tables, so we'll figure it out. And yes, here is the other part of the plant that I got at the business, and I'm, I'm quite happy with how this one's doing. Um, this one's full of like leaves because orchid cactuses live in like the like crooks of trees and you know sort of prefer mulch to soil fun trick so you can just throw your dead leaves and stuff in there um here's a bit of that easter cactus this one is in my room because i want to have a plant in my room uh, but it does not get, like, any natural light. So, this is sort of the most hardy one I could put in there. I'm hoping, I know some people who says, says that she has something. I think she said a pothos. I don't know anything about them. That does fine in the dark. And so until I get something like that, we'll have to just wait. Um, and then my aloe. Heck yes. So yeah, I broke off one of these just to see how easy it would be, and very. Um, not sure really what to do if there's a way to prune aloe so that it turns bushier. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably just going to want to repot it and bury that part. The whole root system is like this big J that I'd need a really deep pot for, but that's my own fault. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out. And a little piece of the, the panda plant I'm stuffing. And then my, my tiny bag of dirt that's not enough. It's like pure worm compost. And the pruning job that I did on the Christmas cactus. Forgot to... Easter cactus. God, forgot to show you while I was over there. That's the start of a little flower bud. Uh, so that actually has a few of those. So, maybe those will be blooming by Easter? I don't know how these things work. Um, so yeah. Plant review. I'm still alive. Um, I have important papers due tomorrow that I started yesterday, so I'm sort of feeling some delayed onset panic. But that's okay. That's how I've always done school, and I tried to not do it this time, and it didn't work yet. 
but I made an effort, and next term will go even better. And I won't be too busy to make videos. Okay, that's the hope. Have a good one.